Hi guys, so I'm about to make another really controversial topic that could possibly end my career because people don't like the unpopular opinion. Here, let me get my cleavage out because I am a porn star and I'm just kidding. Anyways, so we've all known that I speak my mind. I don't care if it's popular. I don't care if people disagree, if they agree. I don't care. I just have really passionate, strong opinions and I would like to share them with you guys. So let's talk about Derek Hay. He is the owner he is the agent of LA Direct Models, which if you guys didn't know what's going on, you can search on YouTube or anything. There's a whole spiel about what happened. Girls are saying that he uh, made them be, basically pimped them out or that he had other people pimp them out, that he would hold work from them for certain, all this whole, a lot of things, right? And I want to throw like a thousand disclaimers in there before I start the video. So here's one of the a thousand. One, I was with this agency for three years. It's the first agency I ever was with. I do not think that Derek is the right fit for me as my agent for the sole reasons that I'm very, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a shy girl, believe it or not. I'm, I don't do well with criticism um, unless it's constructive, sweet criticism, you know. I'm not good with, um, I kind of got into this to be my own boss. So I felt like the way he ran things for his agency was a little bit more like a real job, you know. I mean, it is a real job, but it was more structured and it was a little strict and um being so young it was really hard for me to conform to that when i have boyfriends and i'm moving away from home i never had been to la it was just a lot and i will say there were things that happened um while i was at the agency that i did think was unfair um i mostly found things unfair from the accountant's lady um even though apparently she was coerced by um, Derek to be mean, but I don't believe in if someone tells you to be mean, you be mean. Or you, if, if the case was, oh, if you're not gonna be mean, and then you're gonna lose your job, then maybe you should lose your job and stop treating 19, eight, 18 years old, 19 year old girls that had never done this before, instead of tricking them and doing what you did and this or that, Maybe you should have just been a kind person and find another job. Even if it doesn't pay as much, even if it doesn't do this. I'm sorry, but you should never be mean to young girls, especially in the sex business, and trick them and coerce them into things. You know, like, I felt like most of my problems came money-wise and everything like that. Derek always said, always said, I don't deal with money. I don't deal with your money. That's what he always said to me. And I've been friends with girls in the industry and that's what he says to her, or to them. So Fran, she dealt with the money. She dealt with what was going on. So if there was any confusion with all that and the money, I don't know that Derek ever said anything, but everything came out of her mouth to me. And so that's where I find the wrong in the money. Um, Derek never, um, forced me to escort. Um, he never put a gun to my head. He never, um, I'm not saying I am an escort now or anything like that. I'm just saying he has never done anything like he's never beat me. He's never put his hands on me. Um, we went out for drinks before and he was respectful. Um, I, I think he is strict. I think he's misunderstood. I think that there are ways that he could, you know, these are just my opinions. He could talk to people a little bit differently, you know, be a little kinder and more understanding, especially realizing we're young girls. And you have to remember, he's dealing with a bunch of crazy or like out there and we don't know what we're doing young girls. So in his mind, maybe he thought, oh, I need to be strict with these girls. And maybe he did get a little too strict. I will agree on that. 
Um, so he personally never did anything evil to me or, you know, these two other people that got arrested with them with um, TLC or whatever, I did know them. I'm not saying that I'm escorted or did any of that with them or that they do that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that um, a lot of the girls, and I, I don't really want to blast their names or anything. I'm not trying to start drama. I'm trying to explain. I, I just feel like there's a lot of things that are being left out. From an outsider's view, um, you know, and I, I lived in a model house, and um, the model house was mentioned in part of the problems. There, the only problem was is that you couldn't pop popcorn because he doesn't like popcorn, and that you couldn't have guys over so that they wouldn't destroy the house. And I never had a curfew unless he would prefer you to be in at a certain time, but I never had a curfew. And maybe these things happen for other girls, but I have never heard these girls say these things until here's where it gets weird. So one of the women that made these allegations or whatever ended up having a relationship with Derek and um, she started acting cocky. I saw her at a convention where um, she was being really mean to the makeup artist and like acting like she was better and it was just really rude and like uncomfortable and she just thought she was, you know, I, I could see a change in her that she was more like, oh, I'm dating the agent, you know? And I, I, once she started dating him, yes, her career skyrocketed because before she wasn't really, you know, not that I'm even that great of a performer. She wasn't like where she would have been without him. And then I guess they broke up. I don't know their relationship, but I noticed after that it took a turn. So I don't know what the accusations are with her, but they were in a relationship, so I don't know, I don't feel like he ever, you know, did anything bad sexually to her or anything like that. I don't know if she's even accusing him of that, but I, I highly doubt that because they were in a relationship, you know. And then the Hadley Viscara girl, um, I've... I don't really know what happened with her, or I have nothing really to say on that. I, um, they know if things did happen that made her feel uncomfortable, I'm very sorry, and I hope that you're okay. Um, I, I, it's a word, his word against your word, I don't know, and if anything did happen, I'm very sorry. Um, and then we have Adria Ray, who, they were tight. I'm pretty sure they golfed together, played tennis together. I'm not sure what they did, but she used to kind of be my friend. Not really like close friends at all, but we took a long road trip to Vegas and stuff, and they're really good friends. They hung out. They went to pool parties together. They went to like industry parties together. They were really good friends until, and I don't know if I have anything to do with this, but her boyfriend at the time, Lucas Spross, basically abused me on set. Um, by forcefully coming in my eye and then having rough sex with me um, whenever the scene was not rough sex and it was the roughest sex I've ever had and I felt very uncomfortable. And then as my agent it did, he's supposed to protect me, he said no more shooting with Lucas Frost for these girls because he ended up putting on Twitter, if you're this, I'm gonna come in your eyes on purpose and like making, being mean to me right after our shoot, which I was very kind, I'm not mean, you know, nothing like that. So then the problem started. I think that, may, this is public, this is not me spilling the beans. She was pregnant, um, I don't know if she had a miscarriage or an abortion, whatever, and he made it, wanted her to pay kill fees. Kill fees are a very regular thing. Their agent fees are a very regular thing for every single agent, every single thing. Maybe you could have took it a little lighter on that time. <clears throat> maybe, my opinion is maybe, you know, she had a boyfriend and, um, it, you know, when you do get a boyfriend, you start steering away from porn a little bit. And as a business, Derek was probably thinking, you know, and they maybe became less friends and she didn't get all the, you know, 
people play favorites in life. There's always the teacher's pet. There's always something. And she, I just remember them being such good friends and she talking about it and they hung out. And then all of a sudden, there's a switch. And to me, that's what's concerning it. And I don't, these girls have escorted and they have done these things and they'll have their money out and they're showing all the things that they bought with it. And they never talked about how it was so bad that they did that or that this is something they didn't want to do. And like, it was, I, they chose to do that. And Derek never, he doesn't own this escorting thing at all. He is just an agent for porn and a feature dance agent. And I've been at dinners and I've never, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't speak upon what I have not saw, but from what I've seen, I see a lot of things that don't add up. Like Sophie was his girlfriend. She got lots of cool gigs because of him they broke up and then now this it's just I feel like the me too movement is just kind of a little out there I'm not saying that Derek is the most amazing man in the whole world I'm not saying that he's the bad worst guy in the world either and there are people in the industry that do have his side and you know it's just scary to publicly talk about like I am because all those girls are going to attack me and they're going to be mean to me. And I want to say personally to you guys, I'm really not trying to be mean or trying to put you down. And I'm sorry for anything that you encountered that made you upset as a person. I'm just saying from an outsider standpoint and sticking up for my old agent, even though I said he's not the agent for me. Sometimes we just don't work well with people. I'm just saying that I don't think it's fair to bring up escorting and saying that he did this or that when you wanted to do that, when you wanted to make that extra cash. And you're just, I don't know if it's you guys wanted to be on the TV show, you want to get the notoriety so you can get bookings more. I know a lot of people hate Derek because they think he's mean or unruly or he does some things on, like there's even companies that won't work with him. And you know, maybe Derek is a little harsh. I'm not justifying that. I'm just justifying this. I'm just talking about this particular situation. I'm not saying he's good or bad. I'm not saying that you girls are bad or liars or this or that. I just think that you've really kind of exaggerated <clears throat> and you kind of made someone sound a lot worse than they really were because maybe you're, I don't know if you're getting money out of it. I don't know what you're getting out of it. I just, it, it kind of scares me for other agents and it scares me for other people. What what could a girl say in a time where Me Too is such a big thing? What could girls say and how do guys get out of it when a bunch of girls team up and they're porn stars, they're money hungry, we want money, we like money, we want money, like we want notoriety, we want to be on TV, you know what I mean? I hope that you guys understand what I'm saying. Like I'm, I, I hope I don't get hate for this. I... Like, I know that some of the problems is with the money. The money, I felt, was Fran. And whether he told her to say something or not, that's her problem. She should have been the adult and said, no, I'm not doing that. She shouldn't have listened to what he said. That was her fault. Veronica in the office was very kind. She, I felt like she treated everyone fairly. I, um, When I lived in the model house, um, it was not that bad at all. It was nice. He was never there, barely. I just, <clears throat> I don't know. And I, and I wasn't, I'm, maybe I'm just not complicated. I don't know. He never treated me. Like, there's times where, yeah, I'm like, this isn't fair, you know. Disagreements. But never has he punished me like that. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know everything, but my input is just that don't say that you got sex trafficked or that you're forced to do escorting when you were not forced. I can guarantee you, you were not forced and you enjoyed the money and now you're just trying to bring everybody down. Just be a good person, just be fair. If someone did do something wrong to you, speak up the truth about it. Don't exaggerate it and lie about it. That's all I'm saying. I really, really, really hope I don't get hate about it. I just said a few things on Twitter and I wanted to clear them up. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Sorry. <laughs>